I'm the paper boy. Need an MTV. Good morning, Connellsville, and welcome back to Falcon News. I'm Hannah Tinky. And I'm Ella Etling, bringing you today's school news and announcements. Today is Thursday, May 16th. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week at CAHS. AP exams are wrapping up this week. Good luck to all those taking an exam. Keystone testing has begun. Good luck to all those taking the algebra and literature keystones this week. Senior superlative pictures are tomorrow, and senior grades are also due tomorrow. Let's see what's for lunch today. Now over to Mont. Good morning and welcome. I'm Mont, and for today's lunch, we will be having penne pasta with meatballs, garlic breadstick, side salad, and green beans on the side. And for the alternative menu, we'll be having baked daddy pizza, chicken filet, spicy chicken filet, pub cheeseburger, and never crisp fries on the side. <laughs> Enjoy lunch, and now back to the desk. Thanks, Mont. Now over to Case for weather. Thanks, guys, uh, and Hannah. And welcome back to another weather forecast. I'm Case Shear, your weather man, bringing you today's weather forecast. I'm sorry if you hear the weed, uh, weed eating over there. It's not can't avoid that, but it's fine. Today's weather is a high of 76 and a low of 53. It's going to be very warm out today. Lots of sunshine. Beautiful day to get outside and get some things done. Hopefully, I can uh, say that the baseball game, oh, I just thought it really bad, but it's fine. The baseball game yesterday, hopefully we can talk about that tomorrow on the weather, which is, you know, not actually the weather man's job, but it's fine. It's Evan's not probably going to talk about it, so. Oh, now over to Hannah for the moon phase. And Today's sunset is at 827, sunset. and the moon phase is a waxing gibbous moon. Killed it. Thanks, guys, and back to the desk. Thanks, Case. Now over to Kylie Irwin for Would You Rather Wednesday, the teacher edition. much rather have a whole class of dogs because if I had a whole class of cats I would be a walking allergic reaction and I love puppies they just make me happy a whole class of dogs dogs listen way better if I'd rather have a class of cats or dogs I'd like to have dogs in my class only dogs preferably all potty trained and preferably um, non barking dogs I like to sit there and just sit there not needy I hate cats I hate cats with a passion much rather have humorous students because life doesn't need to be so serious all the time. We've got to have some good humor, guys. Depends on the day, but mostly humorous. I like to laugh. I'd rather have a class of humorous students. I like humor. I like fun. Serious students, too much of that would be the like whole class. That would be way too much. rather have a break so I would do the super long days and just like chalk it up and have a break in the summer. I would do summer only super long days. I'd have to go with summer only so we'll have summer only long days in the summer and that's it and that will be off the entire year. Yes. I'm going with an open coffee bar all the way calories with that but I need my caffeine. All oh, coffee. Yeah. A snack bar. I just like regular coffee. You can get anywhere. I don't need anything special with coffee so I'd rather have an open snack bar and 
buy my own coffee and somewhere else. Thanks, Kylie. Maybe we'll continue the segment next year, including students. Are you looking for a summer job? Do you have a passion for working with kids? Do you like the outdoors? Laurelville Retreat Center is looking for energetic counselors to join their day camp staff. The camp runs from mid-June to the beginning of August. There are six weeks available to work. To apply, go to www.laurelville.org slash employment. If you have any questions, you can email Jordan Torrance at jordan at laurelville.org. The last day to apply is June 1st. The literature keystones have begun. Make sure you are present if you have to take these exams so that you don't have to make them up tomorrow. Bio keystones are next week. Good luck to those taking the exams. The AP tests continue through this week. Today, students will be taking the Spanish exam at 8 a.m. and the bio exam at 12. Be sure to come prepared and on time. Tomorrow, students will take the physics exam. The following students, please stop by room 228, Mrs. Gummo's room, sometime before the end of the day tomorrow. Logan Lowry, Jonathan Mariotti, Ryan Lilly, Taylor Von Livingston, Taryn Kemp, Jacob Lee, Katie Kessler, and Eli Roebuck. The book club will be reading Flowers for Algeron this month. There's still time to read the AR approved book before the next meeting on Thursday, May 23rd. If you have any questions, please contact Emma Nicholson or Dr. Guess. Congratulations once again to all who were voted a winner of the Senior Superlative by your peers. Pictures for Senior Superlatives will be tomorrow in the morning. If you want a superlative, please check your email. Mrs. Witt sent an important email to the superlative winner winners on Wednesday regarding the picture schedule. These pictures are meant to be fun and lighthearted. Please come prepared with an idea that embodies the senior superlative that you and your counterpart won. You are allowed to use props to make sure all items are appropriate for yearbook print. You will meet in the Commons area. According to NationalDayCalendar.com, today is National Barbecue Day. Today's movie quote of the day, Bueller, 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 from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Looking into a career as an LPN? Get started on your degree this summer right here at Connellsville CTC. Adult LPN classes will be offered to graduating senior students through Indiana County Technology Center at the CTC for a 16th month program. For information to apply, visit ictc.edu or our CTC website and click on the Connorsville campus for details. The Connorsville Area High School JROTC will be partnering with Boy Scout Troop 180 out of Dunbar to retire Old Glory. The ceremony is open to the public and will be on Thursday, May 23rd from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Harper Schoolhouse in Dunbar. All ages are encouraged to come and participate in learning the history and protocols of retiring the United States flag. In preparation, if you have any worn, tattered, and or unserviceable U.S. flags that you would like to dispose of properly, please feel free to bring them to the high school and drop them off at the JROTC room anytime. They will ensure the flags are respectfully retired. The CACTC car cruise will be held this Saturday, May 18th at the CTC from 1 to 3 p.m. All trucks and motorcycles are included. Registration is $15. The seniors in the carpentry class will be selling their sheds this weekend during the CACTC car cruise. They will be accepting sealed bids for each shed anytime this week during school hours at our main office or during the car cruise. The bids will be opened at the conclusion of the car cruise at 3 p.m. and the highest bidder on each building will be awarded the opportunity to purchase the shed bid on. Sealed bids must be in sealed envelopes. The outside must be designed either blue shed or brown shed depending on the shed you are placing a bid on. The inside must include your name, phone number, and amount of bid. The minimum bid for the blue shed is $2,600 and the minimum bid for the brown shed is $2,800. Both sheds are 10 feet wide and 12 feet long. Please refer any questions to this email, jmatthews at casdfalcons.org. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at CASD Falcon Productions to see our news, special videos, and live events after they happen. Follow today. Thanks again for watching today. Tune in tomorrow. And, and have, have a great, great day, day Connorsville. Bueller. 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 Um, he's sick. My best friend's sister's boyfriend's brother's girlfriend heard from this guy who knows this kid is going with the girl who saw Ferris pass out at 31 Flavors last night. I guess it's pretty serious. Thank you, Simone. No problem whatsoever. Hey.